Hi, welcome to another pick a card video. This is the third one in a series of videos I've planned on this topic regarding your future partner. The first one covered um, the personality and physical traits of your partner, like who he is, what he's like, he or she. The second one talked about how and when you will come together or meet, like what circumstances would involve your intersection in life. Um, if you haven't watched those, please do consider watching them. I'll link them somewhere on the screen or I'll just provide links in the description below. I also have a playlist now that covers all my love readings. If you want to just scroll over to the play playlist and just watch all the readings. Um, this is the third one and the final one in the series. This one talks about what your relationship would be like once you all met. So... Um, I'm going to divide this reading into four parts but I'll explain that with when I go to the when I do each individual reading. Um, I got these new cards just few days back and I'm really excited to use them. So instead of stones I just thought I would like use these cards for you to choose from because the imagery is so pretty and divine. So um, I have four for you to choose from. The first one looks like this. The second one looks like this. The third one looks like this. And the fourth one looks like this. So as always take as long as you need to choose your heart. And once you've decided, timestamps will be provided in the description. So you can just scroll down and click on that timestamp corresponding to your heart. And it would take you directly to your reading. And um, I'll just get started with the first one. So I'll see you there. Hi, so if you choose the first heart or like this one, then this is going to be your reading. I'm just going to put this here for the time being because we'll just look at it a little later. Actually, I'll just put this whole thing here. So, um, like I said, I'm going to divide this reading into four parts. The first one will comprise of like your first impressions of each other. The second part will comprise of like the build up of your relationship. So, like, you know how um, he pursues you or you pursue him or like how it goes and like what you'll feel during that time. So, basically, like, you know, the chase or the rosy phase like the start of a fresh new relationship or like just the period before. Then the third part will talk about what it feels like once your relationship is underway. So once you guys are like properly together, what it would be like then. And the fourth part would just be any extra messages that spirit or the universe wants you to know. And yeah, that is how it is. So I'll just get started. So, um... I'm going to start out with like you and him in terms of impressions. Then um, just that rosy phase and then like once your relationship is underway. So um, this is you and this is him. Um, I just wanted to add that if like you don't resonate with this and you resonate with this, that could also be the case. So I've just put it for the sake of it, but you could resonate with either of these and the other one could be like your person. So um, with the Ace of Swords, I get that his impression of you would be like, this is somebody who's got a really brilliant mind or somebody who has a very different way of thinking or like somebody who has a very, you know, Somebody who's not just very articulate, but somebody who's like got a very brilliant sense. Like their mind is a beautiful place. Like they think like they have a very different way of thinking. Or like, you know, just their ideas on life or the way they trans they translate their ideas into like word, spoken word. I think they would really find that like really brilliant about you um in case you know you've read my previous readings and in one of the readings uh, of like how and when you'll meet there was one pile where uh this one post like your partner would be drawn to you based on like listening to your conversation with your friends 
and he would think that oh my god your mind is so smart so i feel like this is a continuation of that um if supposing this happens to be somebody in like a work setup then they would really find your ideas on work like really stimulating and really brilliant and different also um this could also mean like a proper idea so supposing you know you are like you have a very enterprising mind or you're talking about your work with your colleagues this person may think like oh my god she's having a sort of breakthrough you know she's having this really amazing idea and maybe i can help her develop it into something big so like either way um they are going to be very impressed by your mind and by the way you think and express your thought like they are going to think that she's she or he have got like a really beautiful and like articulate and like winning mind something that is very unique and different than the way normal people would think and talk also um the ace of swords talks about um finding the truth so if i have to interpret that in this scenario it feels like um they'll also think that you're very authentic and genuine in the way you present yourself or your thoughts like sometimes people like you know um play games or like they play hard to get or something like if you say you're busy but you're not actually busy in your case if you say you're busy it's because you're genuinely busy so there's something very honest and truthful about you that they would like and they would understand that immediately upon like meeting you or seeing you if that makes sense so this is like their first impression of you let's talk about your impression of them um yeah they would also think that you're somebody extremely easy to talk to and like somebody who's like very genuine like this is not somebody who like plays around and manipulates or like you know plays hard to get if she says she's busy she's busy if she doesn't text me it's because she's busy so there's something very honest about this thing like you know um they don't beat around the bush like you just cut through the matter and get to like the point so also like you know in your communication it would be like really clear and good because like you would get to the point really quickly and they would understand it also very quickly also both of these are like air signs so um that's gemini libra or aquarius so if like that resonates with you or somebody you're interested in these signs could be anywhere in your chart like sun moon or rising and if it is it's a confirmation that this is your pile and also because like air is like swords has like something to do with the mind i feel like you know you will connect on a mental level really quickly but just more on that so um with your impression of them the page of swords is somebody who is like smart clear articulate insightful and somebody who's friendly but doesn't like has a little bit of an unassuming personality so if this person comes up to talk to you you'll feel like oh my god that was so nice of him like you know you would feel special that this person has come up and spoken to you like um they may not be the one who boasts about like how smart they are or how brilliant they are but once you start talking to them or once you know them you will know how like smart they are and they don't flaunt their smartness so much so that is what you're going to feel about them like they have a very unassuming personality they like to play it low they like they don't mind being underestimated by the world because they just want to put their head down put their mind to good use and like progress in life so but at the same time it's not like they are reserved or like you know they are cut off they just are very selective in like who or what they like give their mind space to so if this person comes up and speaks to you you will know that okay to a certain level like maybe i match up to this person's intellectual ability um and you will know it and this person will also know it because i get a feeling like 
if like your mind is very unique so is theirs and i get the feeling like this person may feel like there's probably very few people who actually understand how i think and why i think the way i do and upon meeting you or hearing your thoughts this person will feel like if there's anybody close enough to understand how i think and relate to me on that level it's this person so like this is what i see in terms of like your first impressions at the same time this person is very like friendly like once you'll collect connect on a mental level like on like the level of your mind it's like it will just move and move and move because like both of you all are so unique in the way you'll think and like to find somebody who understands that on like such a deep level for you it would be like really exciting like oh my god i never thought i would find somebody who would think like that or who would like understand the way i think and then you find your match so like it would like just zoom from there so and also swords energy is like fast moving energy so i feel like y'all would be in like constant touch and stuff in terms of your relationship and especially like you know if like he's interested in your idea he will pursue you in order to like see your idea like see it through if you know what i mean and he being smart and insightful and hard working and friendly this person may actually help guide you to like make your idea become a reality of sorts sorry about that so like you know like you all will connect on like an intellectual and like on a mental level that you've never been able to connect with other people and it would become very apparent just like in your first meeting um okay moving on to like what that what your relationship would be like like in that rosy phase like when like you're like just like getting to know each other and pursuing each other so what is that like so we have the queen of cups we have strength we have page of pentacles okay since strength has come in the middle i feel like it would be a theme in your relationship to like be strong together um you know when my parents were young they both were like extremely ambitious and like when and although like on a personal level their relationship was not like the best or like they didn't get along when it came to business and work when they got together they were like invincible they were so strong they were like a proper team in that sense you know um they got the job done and they did it with a lot of strength and endurance and like you know like pushing things through so i feel like that is something that would happen but obviously i feel like your connection would be very different than that of my parents but this would play a very pivotal theme in your relationship like being strong together now with the queen of cups this is the card of like um intuition compassion caring so i feel like there would be a lot of care and compassion towards each other in this relationship so like um this person would care for you almost immediately or you would care for them almost immediately and also like you know it would be like these little things that you'll do for each other that would make you all feel loved and appreciated so like for example supposing you'll decide to meet on a date and you happen to know that this person likes um almond milk uh, almond milk coffee and like before supposing you're earlier than him you like order it and keep it ready for him when he just comes so like you know when he sits down he can just have his coffee ready so it's like you know intuitively in like in a nurturing way you all would like do things for each other without having them ask you to do it so like that is what i see so like that would be the build up and like supposing he does it for you like supposing he's passing by your favorite bakery he would pick up like your favorite muffins or something and like come to your house and like drop them off and say oh yeah no it's okay because i know you were busy working on this and that and i just thought i should drop this off to like make you feel better as like a reward at the end of your hard days work 
so there's a lot of care and compassion that you'll show each other but to a big extent that compassion is in order to allow you to put your energy and your mind to like better use so like they are nurturing you to be your best version or to like help your idea grow so supposing um you have to work late or you have to do a presentation or they have to work late and do presentation you will think that okay now they are not going to have time to like make dinner or whatever so maybe i'll pick it up or i'll make extra and keep it for them and i'll drop it off at their house so they can have it so like these small gestures that you would do for each other without like having them to ask and also there would be a lot of care the queen of cups is like basically i think she's like one of the most nurturing queens so there would be a lot of nurturing of each other you know um i also feel like i have to mention in case you know y'all one of you or both of you have been like disappointed in your relationships in the past in any way then um the queen of cups and the strength card is these two cards make me feel like together you all will overcome those past hurts and wounds and like you all would like heal together because you all have found somebody you all can relate to and connect to on such a beautiful level that it would just you know on its own just wash away and you all would be able to talk about it like very openly with each other you know like what happened to me i felt like this this is what he did this is what she did and it hurt so bad and like you all will heal together like you all would be able to talk about truths about your life in ways you've probably never been able to talk about with other relationships even though you all were well into it and this is just like your beginning stage and still you all feel like this kinship towards each other like you all can open up without worrying without the fear of being judged without the fear of like knowing that this person might ghost me like you know there would be like i said there's a lot of honesty and mutual respect and truth in this situation that you all like in your relationship that you all bring together and that is what's going to push it forward and it's like because you all can see that um it's so easy to open up to this person it would just make your relationship stronger over time with strength so i feel like together you all are very strong but also at the same time i feel like you all will have to exert also a lot of strength to like help the other person but it will not feel like a task at all because like if you can see she's trying to pry open this lion's mouth but she doesn't look like she's stressed out or she is exerting a lot of strength to do it she's so calm so it would be very easy for you to be strong for this person or strong be strong with this person it would be like very very easy for you guys to like be strong and because it's happening with so much ease it's like just making you all stronger and stronger and stronger because it doesn't feel like a daunting task you all don't mind doing it more and more and also with the infinity symbol i feel like this is like an enduring theme in your relationship like something forever um strength card is also leo energy so if you all if not air signs maybe one of you all is a leo or have it somewhere in your chart if not then august could be an important month when it comes to your relationship um the page of pentacles is the card that tells me like you know you all would like grow together so the page of pentacles is somebody who loves to learn new things and like study and be a student and like study it is whole mind and body so like not because he has to but because he wants to so i feel like like i said you know if you all have this idea or something and your mind is so beautiful this person will really encourage you and you will encourage them and together you all will like grow and like become stronger and smarter and like learn things together so like for example if by chance you all are still students or like you are working but you feel like you want to go back to school this person will truly encourage you but if it's not related to like school or anything i just feel like you all would enjoy learning about each other 
and you would do it like with your whole heart and soul like you'll not just learn things about it for the sake of it so like you know you can come across as impressive to this person but because you want to learn so like each of your conversations would be like something new you'll learn about each other so your conversations itself would be like learning experience of like not just each other but even of like what a good relationship is like so i feel like when you'll talk and chat whether it's like talking about your idea or just talking about yourselves there's a lot of learning that is happening and it's happening very volunt voluntarily and it's happening with a lot of happiness so like i'm happy to learn this i'm happy to learn about this person because in to a certain extent i feel like i'm even learning about myself through this so while this relationship exudes a lot of like um strength and growth i feel like although like you all will grow together i feel like there'll be a lot of self growing as well in this relationship like this person will teach you to like appreciate your mind appreciate yourself and so and you will teach that person to do the same so i feel like there's a lot of growth on a mental level like you will connect in a way and that would just like be a starting point that moves ahead and ahead and ahead and helps you guys grow together so like this is what i see like the incipient stage of your relationship like the rosy phase and because you are learning so much about this person you feel more and more excited and happy to like pursue it or like see it go through now this um covers what your relationship is like once it's like underway and you all are like properly together so um we have the magician we have the seven of cups and we have the fool okay i'm just going to shift this a little bit so it all fits in the frame so um starting with the magician um so you know how i said that this would teach you guys to grow together so with the magician the magician is somebody who can like conjure magic with the resources around him you know so this is the card that reminds me of like how um you can feel anything is possible like you are like on top of your game so once you all are like together you all you will feel like in a way like you're on top of the world and also like because like of the fool and he's on top of a cliff it would feel like you know um you found your person you're a little bit on cloud 9 and you would feel like you know i've really found my person i'm in a really good place i'm truly happy and this is not like to show the world or anything but because you feel it truly like inside yourself you know um you don't need to prove it to anybody but because you feel it inside yourself the magician is also somebody who like creates magic to a certain extent i know it sounds cheesy but your relationship may also feel magical like to a certain extent but also you know how i said like you know you all encourage each other to like be your best versions and like start loving yourself more and like you know bring out the best in you so i feel like uh, to a certain extent this once you're underway you will also start to like love yourself more and take pride in like your own talents so like you and yours and he and his kind of a thing or like if you are a he then you and yours and she and his so like i feel like you all will just start to like love each other and because like love yourselves more and because you all love yourselves more you all can like shine more like you are more confident of like your talents or your ideas and because you are more confident you have this zest to like put it out and because you're putting it out and people are appreciating it it's like you're more on top of your game so like this encourages you to be like your best version to the world and actually feel it and see it happening 
so like because like this person encourages you you feel like confident you put your things out people appreciate it and because people appreciate it you feel more confident and because you feel more confident you feel more like you're top of your game and you're like good at what you do and you're actually creating magic with like your resources in the seven of cups i get the idea that this relationship is basically what you imagined it to be you know so um i don't know why this picture looks so sinister but actually it's a card of imagination so what you imagine is what you like try and make into a reality so if you ever had any notions of what you would want like your ideal partner to be like supportive honest truthful then um in so many ways i feel like this person would become who you want them to be and same for them like towards you so like if they thought that i would want some a partner who would like encourage me be supportive of me like help me then like you become that for them and i don't know why it looks sinister but um with this mask thing i feel like um if like i said in case you know you didn't have the best of experiences in past relationships um with the mask like with this i feel like you've always had to to a certain extent like you know fit into a mold of like what other people wanted you to be and in order to like do that you had to like put on a mask but not be like your authentic self but like i told you this person appreciates you for like your authenticity and like your genuinity and your honesty and like there's a lot of truth in this situation so i feel like what this actually means is like when you become like a proper couple you can once and for all finally take off this mask and like be who you need to be and like you don't have to like um give out energy in like being somebody else and you can divert and channel all that energy towards like your relationship or like your ideas or your pursuits you know so this is what i see in this um the fool kind of confirms what i said with this so like once you take off your mask you can literally sit back and be like you know i'm in this new thing i'm in this lovely amazing relationship and it would feel like the start of something brand new like the fool basically means the start of a whole new cycle so um it could be like a whole new phase of your life or just basically this whole like renewed vigor or like idea of what good relationships are like so it definitely would be like a starting of a really wonderful cycle with your partner like there would be like this excitement and newness and the fool like you can see like he has like this tiny bag he has this little umbrella and like he's on the cliff and like there's like this happy go lucky non worried carefree feeling about it so like once you take like you can truly like take off your mask and put your legs up and like be who you need to be and like not care about like if this person is going to judge me or like not like me or like you know stop liking me in a while no like this person is in for like the big game and he likes you for who you are he or she likes you for who you are for the way you think and like how authentic you are in your thoughts and everything so like you don't need to like have those fears at all and it and because like you can like sit back and relax it will feel like a fresh start or like a new cycle where you don't have to worry the dog means loyalty and guaranteed companionship which means like you all would be like really good companions with each other because like i said you all already connect in a way that you've never been able to connect with anybody else before and that would be like besides being like partners you all are like best friends in a way you know there's a lot of loyalty there's a lot of encouragement like if you are like giving a presentation or you're like up on a stage this person would be like first front seat up there cheering for you you know so like that's the kind of relationship i see with this um in the traditional tarot deck um the fool also holds a rose which in some cases makes me feel of like being hopeful for like romantic relationships but because this means you're already underway in your relationships i feel like you know like i said you know these little gestures that this person does 
to make you feel loved or like you do for them without like you or them having to ask them to do it the rose means like you know they'll keep like the spark will always be up like you know maybe one day when you come back from work or something this person would have bought you a bouquet of roses and like you know kept things going and fun that way i see a lot of fun also in your relationship because the fool is like carefree so i feel like you all would do a lot of fun things together maybe even like you know daredevil things like you know um skydiving or like things you could not do like with other people or even expect to ask if you can do it but with this person you can like be your own self like you know i want to go swimming with the sharks or like do a lo lot of fun things but to a, like a big extent you're going to feel like you're on top of the world like you know you've hit the jackpot with this person and this person is going to feel that with you you know like i found my person and this ring also in a way makes me feel like um <laughs> this person is in for the long haul so like maybe sooner or later a proposal may come but because swords is like fast moving energy it will probably come sooner than you expect maybe like you know you all are like pursuing each other in august and then in february like a proposal comes i don't know i'm just saying just saying it out loud but it would happen like fast also like the page of swords and the fool are both aquarius energy so i feel like there's a very strong aquarius element in this relationship the magician is aries and this is leo so those are the major arcanas now the final part of this reading oh yeah i forgot to mention like a lot of these like these are all like one one ones so like, you know like how i said like this person will help you appreciate yourself more so because like there's so much understanding and love and appreciation of each other in this relationship you all would learn to like love yourselves more and like be your best version and like shine out to the world yes for the final part of this reading we'll finally look at the oracle cards especially like the one the one you chose so um we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges so like i said you know you can be your authentic self you don't have to fit into a mold in order to like please this person or like get this person to truly like you um he's going to like you he or she is going to like you for how you are and you can just be honest and upfront about yourself especially with the swords energy there's a lot of like honesty and balance and truth in this relationship and like because you all both have like brilliant minds and this openness to listen and willingness to like listen to each other and like take into account each other's opinions that would bring about a lot of balance and harmony in your relationship um the second one is if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so like i said with this person you can truly be who you want and talk about what you want to do or like what makes you happy so truly be able to express yourself and like because you all can like express yourselves and be honest there's a lot of self growth and there's also a lot of growth in this relationship like there's a lot of space to grow this person allows you and you allow them to be their authentic selves and because you encourage it it grows so like be who you need to be in this relationship like with this person there's no pretending you are like your authentic person with this relationship this one is comfort so this could mean like together you are like, like are extremely comfortable in each other's company um there is obviously that meaning and because of this flowers it reminds me of like planting a seed and like growing together so like growth this could also like mean like having a family because there are three but like i feel like you all are comfortable enough to like grow together like talk about your own opinions be your authentic selves this could also mean like you know um like actually like physical comfort so because like you all have this brilliant mind and you all encourage each other to pursue your dreams 
this could mean like you know together you all achieve a lot of financial abundance and because of like that abundance you all can like live a very good and comfortable life so like this is like one interpretation of it um let's look at these angel oracle cards so like as always i didn't pick this like intending to like get a specific message i didn't pick them like with any specific question in mind but like whatever messages they have about your relationship so let's just look at them we have trust so a lot of trust in this relationship because y'all can be like your best and most honest selves and because y'all are like been honest with each other from like day one there's automatically a lot of trust with each other and then we have peaceful resolution so um the swords energy can also mean like you know being very blunt and like you know just cutting sharp ace of swords could also be in having like you know razor sharp kind of a tongue so maybe there are moments in your relationship where um you know your bluntness can be a little hurtful or like you know maybe you know you say things in a very mean or hurtful way or they say it to them but you know whatever disagreements or whatever happens it would always lead to a very peaceful resolution like you know it would never explode into one of those very scary type of fights where you are like wondering oh my god what's next what's happening no this would be one of the situations where in um it would just resolve itself in a very peaceful and happy way in a way that you are left feeling like comfortable and happy about how it ended and because like you all can like talk and communicate clearly and like say that you know what when you said it like that it really hurt my feelings and they would understand because like you all connect on a very good level you all grow more you know so like i feel like a lot of growth peace comfort trust all of these elements play into making this relationship like stronger and stronger with the strength um is there anything else i want to say um i guess that's it for now pile 1 um i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated with you i hope it gave you a sense of reassurance um if it did any of those things then please do consider liking this video um commenting sharing it with those who you feel it may help and obviously subscribing to my channel because that would really help me and i will see you soon in my next video bye hi so if you choose the second heart of this one then this is going to be your reading um i'm going to start this reading is divided into four parts so the first part is the first impressions you'll have of each other i'm going to start with like this being you this being them but if you resonate with this rather than this then this can be you and this can be them then followed by um what the rosy phase will be or like the incipient stage of your relationship like like who pursues who or like how it works and what you feel and then finally once your relationship is underway um what that is like what your relationship would be like once you know you all are properly together and dating and the final part would be just extra messages from these oracle cards from like spirit or the universe or just your angels so let's just begin with like the first impressions you'll have of each other um we have the ace of wands and we have the knight of swords or a fast moving passionate energy i can see already so um the ace of wands is somebody who has like this you know this spark this passion this drive um pile one had a lot of brilliant ideas but you may just be somebody who's like extremely like charismatic and somebody who's very well like you know self aware or like aware of yourselves in certain way and because like you're self aware and because like you know you have like a proper understanding of who you are and like the things around you and like you have this like drive and this need to like act upon things you may come across as somebody who's very like passionate and charismatic to like them also ace of wands talks about spark so um 
the minute you meet this person i feel like sparks will fly like you will know like there's some chemistry or there's some passion like with this person and you'll know it like almost immediately also i don't know why but ace of wands also reminds me of like somebody who's like very glamorous or like well groomed or like well dressed so they may like actually think of you to be like this super beautiful or like glamorous or well dressed person like somebody who's like very well put together and looks really smart and pretty and stuff so like that's the impression they'll have like they'll think like you're this really super cool fiery person you know with a lot of passion and spark and like the need to do things also the aso ones could like indicate warmth so to a certain extent even though like you have this passion and this fire in your belly and like you're charismatic and like you know you have this warmth so like you know the spark in the darkness like i feel like you know like you know i don't want to sound too corny but like you know how in like movies when like somebody when the guy sees the girl and like even though she's in like this crowd everything like becomes dark and like only she shines like that's how it's going to be with like this person in you like from a cloud from a crowd like you will stand out and like actually like the f- the spark in the darkness like the flame in the darkness so like you will stand out and that could also like indicate warmth like even though you are like this fiery passionate cool person you also have like this deep empathy and warmth to yourself and that is what they're going to find extremely attractive about you besides like your physical attraction which is like very apparent in like your first meeting um coming to this um the knight of swords this is somebody who's also extremely fast moving somebody who also like acts upon their thoughts and desires very quickly so like to a certain extent your impression of them would be like maybe this person came on a little strong like did this person not think through when like they came to me maybe this person may like fumble or something when they try to talk to you because to a certain extent maybe they're a little intimidated by you but because this is a night not by that much you know like it will just be like for like a second and then they'll compose themselves and then be like oh hey do you want to like go and get a drink or something together like you know i don't do but like they will make a beeline to you because like this is the order in which it is and they will like move very quickly so you may just feel like this person is a little bit like somebody who comes on a little strong like you know um has strong overtures like the way they come to you maybe you feel a little bit like you know they push you but that's a little later like just somebody who like probably doesn't think everything through like before they act so like just the way they came to you you will also feel like this person is like lot of energy this person is very fast this person is also very enthusiastic maybe you'll feel like maybe this person is also a little bit like dominating in the sense of like enforcing his opinions but that would clear out later on this is just like the first impression you have of them and because like you're this glamorous charismatic person and like you are very well self aware and you're strong you can be like politely like curtly answer to this person but you won't feel like it because like even though this person just came on so strong you're going to feel like the chemistry and the spark what else do i see about this yeah very energetic very enthusiastic maybe they love to like talk about adventure stuff and like sports and all so like that is the first impression i get of like them um being a knight this person may be of like a certain like level in his work um swords energy also talks about like being very smart like in terms of like your mental ability like somebody who's like not a stupid person but like somebody who's like got a certain sense of like maturity you know so like you're going to think like this person is 
kind of smart and maybe because they're smart like they're a little higher up in a position than like what normal people or like other people of like their education or like their age would be and this person is like enthusiastic to move up higher and like they act upon their impulses like the way they came and talked to you like they don't just think of ideas and like let it die out they act upon it like they have a way of like getting their way i guess i also feel like in this there'll be a little bit of like they will pursue you for a while before like this becomes like something big like even before like you all start properly like just going out and stuff this person may like pursue you for a little bit but it will happen fast because like deep down or like even not deep down like on the surface itself you will feel like the spark and the chemistry acting up they will feel it too you know so this is what i see um ace of wands is fire energy and knight of swords is air energy so maybe like you have fire in your chart and they have air or maybe you have air and they have fire in their chart um fire is leo aries and sagittarius and air is gemini libra and aquarius um okay now we'll just talk about like what your relationship will be like once you know um this whole before you all start dating like how you all start dating what that would feel like so just to get a clearer idea we have the 9 of wands we have the chariot and we have the 2 of cups wow okay i'm just going to arrange these so that they fit properly yeah so um you know like how i said like this person may come off as somebody who is like you know coming on too strong and maybe this person pushes you like oh hey let's go for a drink and you're like i just met you um i feel like with the nine of wands this person may actually you know help you like in pursuit of you like you know and asking you to meet them and like go out i feel like this person may help you like you know break barriers and like break out of your little shell i feel like for some of you guys like maybe you do this for them but like the general consensus of this is that like you or them is like been a little bit like sheltered like you've just lived like within your little boundaries or like your loop and you've just done things within that but this person will like come in and be like okay hey you know what let's like go out let's like travel let's like do this and you're like i just met you but this person will be like don't worry it will be fun let's do this so this person may like push you a little bit outside your comfort zone and when like you go out you will actually start to see the rewards of it you start to see like actually the world is so much more bigger than what i was living in my little circle in my little thing like you know in my in my own barriers like how these sticks like form this like barrier and like you're holding on to your stick with so much like rigidity like no i'm happy here i don't want to experiment but this person will push you to like go out and experiment and when that happens you will like surpass these barriers and when you surpass them you'll be like surprised that like how big and beautiful the world is and how much delight it has and that same thing could be applied even like towards this person so like once you like start going out with them more and getting to know them you'll be like oh my god this person is full of surprise and delight and i actually very much enjoy this person's company i really like this could be them towards you and you you towards them either way but that's like what i get through this card and like once you've broken that barrier i feel like with the chariot it will be like you guys will fly together like you know like he said that okay you know what let's plan this trip 
and you'll be like oh but i just met you but he'll say don't worry it will be fun and then you know you'll travel together you'll do fun things together you'll explore new places you'll like do fun activities together you'll fly together you know explore new things i think there'll be a lot of fun and a lot of flight and like although like a part of you or them will be like you know i have like this destination in mind you wouldn't mind like you know taking these detours and like exploring new places but like ultimately you will reach your destination which is like finding your true partner within each other the two of cups is basically finding the person who mirrors you so like this you could be the one mirroring them and they can be the one mirroring you but either way you all will find each other in each other and you all will do that by helping each other like you know break out of like your barriers and like living in this very sheltered or like this little, little cave like these barriers that you made for yourself this relationship is going to help you break them and like free yourself of them if you know what i mean i really like this energy so though this person may appear like somebody who is coming on too strong at the start it will actually be for your benefit like you know maybe you are just like sitting at home on like a sunday and this person will text you like oh hey you know i'm under your building why don't you come down let's go for a drive and you'll be like what you didn't even ask me it'll be like don't worry it'll be fun and you'll be maybe go a little reluctantly but then once you go on the drive you'll actually enjoy how much fun it is to like be with this person so like it could be these little things but it could also be like bigger things but either way you know, you guys will fly together so i definitely feel like you know you are may travel together in uh, the reading i did for how and when you all will meet one of them indicated like you'll meet this person during travel so that could also be like a main factor because like when you travel but also that reading said that together you all will like travel a lot so maybe like you know you'll love exploring the world and like different cultures and you all will find like that common ground in like when you all travel that is something you all will truly like enjoy doing together even if it's like the beginning of this phase so maybe like not with each other but like with a group of friends and stuff and in that you all will like truly understand and find each other because the two of cups is basically finding your match finding your mirror in like another person so to a certain extent i feel like this could also mean like soulmate energy this could mean like finding your person and this is like some kind of a divine union you know like finding your match your exact match in the person and like being able to connect on like a very emotionally and beautiful level you know and i know that the lion usually comes up in like the strength card so like together you all would be like really strong and you all would really be able to like talk about things like maybe this would not happen immediately at the start but as your relationship progresses you all would realize that you all can really connect on like an emotionally deep level and talk about things that maybe you were not sure you could talk about before but because like you've broken this barrier in a way this could mean like you know this person breaking the walls that you have built around you or like you breaking the walls they have built around you and once those walls are broken and you all fly together and you all connect this person can tell you like his or her deepest secrets and you can tell them because like you've broken in like you made it to the heart you know they don't let everybody in the way they let you but you got to go in and they got to go in for you like they made it like they won your trust and your loyalty they they were able to allow yourself to be vulnerable in front of them enough to like be able to like open up so like they surpassed these barriers that you built around yourself and they came in and maybe it took a little bit of pursuing but it was worth it maybe you pursued them maybe they pursued you but it was worth it because ultimately once you like got to know each other and got to connect on this beautiful level it's like you found your person you found your match you found your like true true soulmate and that is like beautiful um okay
do i have anything else to add the chariot is cancer energy by the way and cancer is like basically in my experience like one of the most emotional signs so although this person may appear like you know um energetic and enthusiastic and like you know a little bit hard or coming on strong once this is broken you will kind of like you know understand their emotional side as well and they will of yours also in case you know you've not had like the best of experience in relationships in the past this person will like help you open up like you will be able to open up to this person like never before and just by opening up you know like the distance you'll travel together like not physically but like mentally that is going to be like so far and so good that itself is like breaking other boundaries together like you will hit milestones with this person so quickly in like this incipient stage that you've probably not been able to hit with like other relationships that have been like going on for like months and years and for like a longer period of time so yeah that is something that i see so now for the third part let's talk about what your relationship is like once you all are like properly together and partners and dating so um first one is king of cups the second one is the chariot oh wow chariot and the chariot so a lot of travel and page of wands okay just adjust this so this fits in the screen okay um the king of cups tells me like there would be a lot of like i told you you know being able to connect on a very emotional level in a way that you've never been able to before especially like when you compare it to past relationships but with the king of cups i feel like there will be a lot of reliability in this relationship like you can truly rely on this person you know or like trust this person with your secrets and this is somebody who sees things through also the king of cups is somebody who maintains you know calm in like choppy situations he is somebody who's like the stable person when things go up and down so i feel like in case you know you have like anxiety or a panic attack or anything this person would be truly be able to be there to like comfort you make you feel good you know see things through the end like help you through like he won't be like oh my god she's going through this i'm just going to like quickly escape from the back door because i don't want to deal with it no this person will be right there in front of you to like help you get through it and maybe you them as well but they but because like this is the masculine and most of my viewers are like women i think um i just feel like the guy would be the one who like holds your hand and like makes you feel good and like makes you understand and like sees things through the end like if they like start something they are not going to like leave it halfway through so this is also something that tells me like this is like a long haul relationship this and this like both these things tell me like this person could be like your soulmate of sorts and this relationship could be something that leads to like you know marriage or like planning a future or like kids like this is not like something that's like for the fun of it it can become like really serious and you all can find a lot of stability and reliability with each other also like if you know you all do end up getting married and having kids this person would be like very good with the kids like you know helping you get through with the tantrums and the night shifts and all of that like once they start something they are not going to end it this also makes me feel a little bit about this breaking of barriers so supposing this person really likes you i mean obviously he does but um if he feels like there's something holding you back he will be the one who will be like you know i'm going to help her get through it i'm going to help her past these obstacles this person is also very loyal like they will not tolerate people talking smack about you or like nonsense so this person is really going to be like somebody who like he can literally just go like and 
chop off somebody who tries to like talk nonsense about you so they're gonna be very like possessive of like your image or like your respect you know and also with the king and the knight like i said this person could be a, like a pretty higher position compared to like other people and maybe because like they are high up they have a little bit of pride and because they have a little bit of pride like they feel like okay you know what i can just go and ask her like they know their position and but they don't use it like in a bad way they use it to their advantage you know and like the king of cups reminds me a lot of cancer energy in the chariot is cancer and like this is also cancer so i feel like cancer could be a very strong element in this reading but yeah this is what i see through this somebody who sees things like from start to the end this person could also be like very liked in a certain way like because like they are reliable um like you know you guys may like have a lot of friends and stuff that you'll go out with and this person will introduce you to their friends or whatever with a lot of pride and a lot of like happiness and really stick up for you and you for them so like there'll be a lot of like strength like the foundation of your relationship would be like very strong especially like once you're dating like you can truly like rely on this person you know um with the chariot i feel like this could be this is like two things that comes to my mind one is obviously like y'all would travel and do like fun things together and experience life and like view the world and you know like plan a lot of things and like have a lot of fun like go to places you've never been to before but you go with like this person and because you all are going together you all actually go further than what you thought you would but this also means like in life you guys may go very far together like you know because like you are somebody he has decided to take upon like this is somebody he truly loves he wants to see you like at the best level possible so like supposing it's a work thing and you're like not as high up in your position as he feels you deserve to be then he will like help you get to that position also if this is like something you'll do together then like you all will go very far in like your career or your life together you know like you all will fly together you know like truly like go the distance if you know what i mean and with the page of wands this basically means like you know the possibility and the hope of what is lies ahead and what is possible so this definitely means like you know if like this is so strong this could mean like planning a proper future together and because i told you you know initially like there will be like this spark just because like you know you all are like doing these work things together or like you know maybe you all live together doesn't mean like it would die down there would still be a lot of spark of like what is still to be explored things to be done because like the chariot means like traveling going the distance exploring new places and this means like you know sharpening the wand to see what is lying ahead so i think together you all will be forever curious for like forever exploring and not just you know like geographically but even like in life like what can we do next together what can we conquer together you know and you all would do it with so much fun and passion and enthusiasm together because like even though there's a lot of cancer energy there's also a lot of fire like so and this is somebody you can truly rely on so you instead of like worrying about your everyday stuff and all you can just divert your mind both of you all can just divert your mind to like planning your future and like doing fun things and like thinking ahead you know and it would happen in this very beautiful passionate way so this is what i see for you pile 2 um i still have to get to the oracle cards but i hope you've enjoyed this so much i really like it and i truly feel like this is your person let's look at your cards this is the first time i'm using these so i'm like excited we have soulmate i kind of knew that but even the cards told me so 
your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so um in case you have not already met this person um a soulmate is coming in and also um because like of the cancer element july may be a very important month for you guys maybe this year maybe next year but um because of like the fast moving energy i feel like the sooner the better so i think maybe this year itself so but yeah definitely this person is you like your soulmate and we have not one but two cards confirming that so and this one we have you may not always understand why certain things happen however there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be re revealed sorry so like i said initially it may be scary for you like this person is coming on to strong should i like just like bluff him off brush him off like what should i do but i feel like this person once they help you like break down your barriers you know you will realize like what a beautiful experience and what a rewarding thing it was to like let your guard down and allow this person inside to truly understand you like once you leave it down like there's so much fun and happiness and connecting on a deep level in store for you once you know you surpass this thing and you'll start becoming one and you will understand the reward and the surprise and the happiness that is in store for you i feel like a lot of adventure a lot of love a lot of happiness a lot of passion in this relationship really jealous of you pile too <laughs> also um in case you know i talked about like not having the best experiences in the past this would be like once you get into this you will know like that was just crap and this would be like a brand new like an eye open offer you of sorts so yes this could also mean that and once you know you come to this because like you've come to this after going through that you have developed a certain level of maturity and because you have that maturity you have that compassion you have that passion this person liked you so you'll start to realize that you know maybe if i was not as mature maybe he would not have come and if he had not if he had not come up to me i would never have like found him and like found this happiness so you'll try and understand that maybe what happened in the past was actually um a means to an end like it helped you become the person you needed to be in order for this person to come into your life so i feel like yeah that's where like the whole manifestation thing happens because everything comes to you only when it's meant to come like in divine timing so i feel both soulmate and divine timing will come into play when it comes to like this relationship now um we have this which is passion so like i said a lot of passion anyway so i don't think i need to actually elaborate on this one but obviously your relationship will have a lot of fire and passion and excitement and you will feel that from like the first moment you meet this person like with the sparks flying and like you know you being like the flame in the darkness like somebody he sees in a crowd so yeah um once again i pull these cards not having any question in mind or anything but just for like any extra messages that you should hear about this relationship and what it's going to be like so um we have ask your angels so this person being like your soulmate i feel like to a certain extent he's also like a form of an angel so anytime you know like i said when you're like not feeling yourself or you're like you know you're like going through anxiety or you have doubts this person would like you can ask this person what to do like the king of cups is like one of the most reliable kings in like the whole of tarot i think king of cups and king of pentacles so um this could mean like you can literally ask this person for like anything even if like you need a favor and you feel like oh my god is it appropriate to ask him this or that you can still ask like they give you that level of comfort they extend it to you that i'm available to you in like whatever way you need 
you know don't worry just ask away but this could also mean like literally just asking your other angels anytime you feel stuck and in one way or the other the answer will find itself it find its way to you and the final card is in the near future so like i said if this person is not already in your life there's a possibility that maybe uh maybe july maybe the month but like in the near future like this person is going to come in pretty soon because this is like really fast moving energy so i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it gave you like any clarity or reassurance of sorts um i just hope it made you happy because like i see a very beautiful relationship here um if it did indeed make you happy and made you feel reassured please do consider liking this video commenting with what like made you happy what resonated um sharing this video with those who you feel it may help and finally subscribing to my channel because that would really help me grow and i really do want to grow so thank you very much for letting me read for you and i will see you in my next video bye hi so if you chose the third heart or like this one then this is going to be your reading as i explained in the previous two readings um i'm going to just start out this reading is going to be divided into four parts the first one would be like the first impressions you'll have of each other uh follow it followed by like the incipient stage of your relationship like who pursues who and how it would be and what you would feel and then finally once your relationship is underway what that would be like and we would conclude it with these oracle cards for any extra messages from spirit the universe your angels or just anything you need to know so um let's begin let's pull this ahead Okay so the first impressions um i'm going to start out by putting like you here them there but if you feel like you resonate more with this then this is you and this is them just to simplify things i'm like saying this is you and this is them so we have the empress and we have the 6 of pentacles okay so um when it comes to the empress this feels like their impression of you would be first of all um you're extremely feminine you're extremely beautiful you know um they also feel like you are somebody who like you know how they have people who they feel like are like really insightful and serious people like women who are like make good mothers um like somebody they could be extremely serious about like they look at you and they are like okay i'm going to marry that woman some day because like they see you and they know instantly that you know you're like the one because you're the empress there's something about you not just your beauty and like your charisma but the ability that you know you are somebody with whom like they could have a family and expand you know their life and like basically expand their family and like somebody they would want to share their life with on like a very serious and permanent level also um the empress is somebody who's like dazzles the world with their gestures so there's a possibility that you could meet this person at a party and like like you've thrown the party or something so i feel like this is like somebody you would meet like in your like you are somebody they meet through in their community of sorts or like via friends but like they meet you and they are like oh my god she is so amazing she is so beautiful like she is so dazzling there's growth there's expansion and they find you extremely maternal they find you caring because basically the empress is basically the mother archetype somebody people can relate to very easily somebody who's like very beautiful somebody who has it like really well 
so the reason i feel like it could be like within your community itself is because like um you come from a certain like socio economic standing and if like you all move around the same circles then they like have to match up to that standard you know to that same economical socio economical standard and the empress is somebody who is very abundant and she's fertile so like she's somebody with whom you know people think of like having kids and like expanding their family uh this could also be somebody with whom they want to like go into business with at at the start because they feel like you could make a good partner like they could grow with you but i feel like even though this is like six of pentacles and this is the empress i feel like y'all will have like a certain like um your socio economic standing will like be equal in ways and like that would also play a role because i feel like there's a lot of like community feeling in this um in terms of them your first impression of them um the six of pentacles is basically the card of reciprocity and also charity and generosity and to be able to give and do for others within your within your capacity so i also see like lot of compassion like the ability to give and do for others so that's why i feel like you know um the socio economic backgrounds would be similar because unless you have enough how will you give and you're giving within your capacity so you have that charitable like this person them they would have like this charitable um a sense to them or like they would have that quality to them and you would find that extremely impressive like you know being the empress and being somebody who loves to nurture and care and like do for others you would love seeing like them helping out volunteering doing things for others and because like this is like coin energy this usually means like you know helping out in terms of like finances and doing for others so obviously this person has like the capacity financial capacity to live well and to do well for others so like to help others out and that would be very um apparent in your first meeting i also feel like in your first meeting like if by chance it's like a set up then like it would become like a point it would actually become a talking point between the two of you like do you enjoy social work or like what do you like doing like do you like volunteering or like doing things for others so i think that is something you would find like on a common level also like this is 3 and this is 6 which is a multiple of 3 and the empress is basically the card of expansion and fertility so i feel like this is something that would be like marriage the result of this would be marriage um the empress is also a uh, taurus and libra so if those zodiac signs resonate with you then it's a confirmation that this is your pile a uh, pentacles energy comprises of capricorn taurus and virgo so if your partner or you happen to have those placements in your chart anywhere then again it's a confirmation that this is your pile um now let's just look at like what your um incipient stage would be like like who pursues who or like what is happening in that before you all like properly start to date or like become like properly come together so we have the emperor Okay. We have the high priestess, all right, and we have the king of cups. So, okay. So, um, I really feel like to a certain extent this might be like you know a set up situation or like an arranged situation. Like, if you watched enough of Indian Matchmaker, I mean. a lot of it was like fiction because nobody tolerates all that nonsense but um basically 
sometimes when like you want to find a partner and like in traditional families this is how they do it your parents find a match for you and like you just go for it but you don't just like meet the person once and say oh yes and like you are like now married for life you have like this in the modern version you get the chance to like meet different people see who you feel you want to like go on a second date with then it's like you know you have like this courtship period where you like just go out with them a lot you get to know them and then you like come home and you announce and you say yeah i really like this guy i don't mind and then you know they match the birth charts and stuff and then the parents meet meet each other then there's like this announcement that these people are going to be together like within the community and then there's the engagement and then a year later or like whenever it's convenient for like the two partners there's the wedding so like there's a very traditional way in which people do it i mean there is like a modern twist to it because like people are young now and working and stuff but if you like sometimes when they still prefer to go like the matchmaking way it's done in a very traditional way and for some reason because of like the amount of court cards i see or i feel like it's more than just about you and them it's like you know families are involved and stuff and that's why i feel like it could be a little bit of like an arranged marriage situation and this is like your courtship phase so um with the emperor i feel like again the emperor reminds me of a lot of i don't know why but this reminds me of like tradition like doing things in a certain way setting the foundation for like future things so like i feel like in this period like what we call courtship this person like you and him would like spend it like creating that foundation like asking a lot of questions going on many dates like finding out more about each other understanding like who you all are like what you all like what your hobbies are um and like you know basically getting a gist of like the person but the emperor is also somebody who is like he doesn't just do this groundwork you know for like anybody he does it for like future growth so one thing is for sure if this person does not like you he's not going to lead you on or like you ain't going to lead them on like you will know instantly if you like this person you know and this is like a father archetype so immediately you know you when even in your courtship you will know that this is somebody you can count on and he's very reliable i'm saying he because of like the emperor thing but it could apply to a woman as as well also um because of the amount of court cards that are present whatever you'll do you know it would be like done on a very nice scale like on a grand scale so like if you'll go for a date you will go to a nice restaurant if you all are like announcing that you all want to be together it would be a nice fancy ceremony so with the amount of court cards like things would be very grand in a way moving on to the high priestess this card tells me that you will spend your courtship like really figuring out in a way what you guys want and i feel like with the emperor and the king of cups i'll get to that a little later um understanding each other is going to give you a better understanding of who you are and what you want you know um i feel like getting to know each other is going to be like a form of unlocking who you are within yourself like you know if this if like you have a conversation with this person about career or like money or like you know this charity thing or volunteering and this person is honest about what they like or don't like um you will feel like okay if they could be so honest about it so can i and you would start to like open up a lot and so would they so i feel like in understanding and like finding out about each other and getting to know each other more your this courtship phase would be spent in even figuring out your own self to a certain extent which i think is really cool the high priestess is vogue by the way so um 
lot of earth energy again like you know with the taurus here and the virgo here and all the other signs here so those may be like important placements in your birth chart or in theirs or maybe like september may just be an important month emperor is aries energy so maybe april is also an important month and like don't get me wrong like these courtships can go on for months you don't have to make a decision instantaneously and i feel like this would take its time you know like you would go with the flow like even though like maybe like your parents are there and families are involved and like every day your mom asks oh my god did you like him what did you all talk about and stuff um there's no pressure to like make things move very fast you know and like because we got two kings i feel like you would be like this person is extremely like reliable in ways you know like you can count on this person also we got the empress and the emperor which is so cool so i think things will happen in like a proper sequence you know like this 3 this 4 this 6 so like things would happen in a very sequential way so that's why i like you know like do things in a very traditional way like you know maybe do everything in the way you want it and to a great extent i feel like you are to a certain extent traditional and so you enjoy when things happen like this way like one of my best friends when she got married she got married in this traditional way and she knew that she was going to get married like this since she was like 15 or whatever so when the time came for her to like find a boy and her parents to approve and stuff and all of that she enjoyed the tradition she told me with so much detail like you know the first time you know he came over to our house we served him tea then you have to go out with him alone and speak to him see if you're compatible then only the parents become involved then you do background checks and blah 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 and she enjoyed it like she told me like the whole process with so much joy and pride like you know everything that traditional demanded was like done for her and she was really happy so to a certain extent i feel like both of y'all will want to like do it in the traditional way but also because like many of us don't resonate with like this thing a more modern approach would be like you know do it in the traditional way but still have that modern twist so like for example when my aunt got married she married somebody who's who lives like in a different country like he was from the same religion and culture and stuff but he wasn't born in india he was born in the united states and even though he's indian he was like really modern so even though they did things in the very traditional way like first time like he was introduced to her via like family friends or something in this arranged marriage situation then they went out they went on a holiday and stuff then then she traveled to like new york where he was studying and then one day he took her out and he proposed to her in central park and stuff so even though it's like it was all planned and done in a traditional way it still had that modern twist like you know he did things on like the horse ride the horse carriage ride and stuff so you're going to have all of that in your courtship so i think that's going to be like really exciting for you if like that's something you want um the king of cups the king of cups is like an- another one of the most reliable kings um he is somebody who like sees things through so like if he's like i that's why i kind of felt like this is not like some he's testing you out kind of a situation or you're testing him out this is like for the big deal you know and he sees things through so he will always be there to talk to you and stuff and like listen to you understand your opinions hold your hand if like something scares you so like if you'll plan like a wedding or you'll plan ceremonies he will take into account your opinion he will take into account what you want regardless of like who is paying so like don't worry about that and this is like somebody who's very like good 
like somebody who knows how to be calm in a storm so like if there are conflicts with somebody he'll be the peacemaker he'll be the one who'll be able to do things properly also like if you like plan if you like plan to have kids and stuff moving forward he will be really good with them because like some of us would be like oh my god i need a break from this situation and these tantrums but not him he will know exactly how to handle it so somebody very reliable but like for an empress i think the emperor and king are like needed so i also feel like um this would be a very affluent match you know so everything would be grand it would be fun it would be nice i just the only thing is it would be like in a way traditional and i feel like more than like you and him other parties are involved but the main thing to remember is that in understanding each other you all would like start to understand yourselves and i think that would be like the highlight of like this courtship or this incipient stage of like your relationship and moving on to like what your relationship is like once you all are like properly together like you all have announced to everybody you guys are together in some cases this could also mean like once you're married so we have um the fool we have the page of cups and we have the queen of pentacles i love this okay so um i feel like once you know you guys get to be like alone and you all don't have like the involvement or the pressure of traditions or doing things in a particular way or like the pressure of parents and all of that i feel like you all will suddenly like start to have fun together you know that even when you all are just the two of you because you all did all the groundwork before and like getting to know each other and getting to know yourselves and now that you know all the pressure and all that unnecessary stuff has like receded away and you've like done with like you finished doing things in the traditional way and now you just like it's two of you and now it's time to like just live your actual life i think that's when the fun will start and the fool means that is when like a whole new cycle will begin and um this fool like with the ring in a way it kind of confirms like the whole marriage thing so even if you're not married but like you know you're all getting engaged or like you're announced to the world so like in different cultures it's called different things so like in gujaratis it's called goldhana in um parsis or like in other cultures it's called rokha it some in some cultures it's called um I forgot what it's called it doesn't matter but basically that's like announcing that these two people are going to ultimately get married or like they are together so everybody else back off kind of a thing and like they throw a ceremony and all families are invited and they do poojas and stuff but like because this has come like at the start of this it feels like that will be like a brand new cycle you know once it's just the two of you and like you're done with all of this um the fool in a way reminds me of like you know a carefree spirit like a new cycle on top of like a cliff so in some ways you'll feel like you know you're on top of the world or like your relationship will feel like a fun place from where you know you can just fly and like with the tiny little satchel like thing this dude is carrying it feels like you have no baggage there's nothing weighing you down anymore like i said you know once all this recedes and your light you can fly and i get that like with the umbrella so like that's when you guys will like start having fun and that is when like a whole new cycle will start and with the dog this could mean two things like companionship like loyalty like the, you will find a friend in your partner forever and he will find a friend in you forever but this could also mean like maybe getting a dog together in case you know you'll decide to move in or get married or whatever so there is that it's like an exciting new start and in the traditional tarot the fool also holds a role so you know like you know going on like romantic dates like without the pressure of like i have to go home and like give my parents an update you will actually enjoy these date nights with like your fiance or your boyfriend or like your husband 
and you'll go on these dates not to prove a point or to get to know like not with an end mission but just to actually enjoy and have fun so there will be like that spark and doing things together and like enjoying and like having fun and mostly like feeling light and like feeling young and energetic and happy you know uh fool is aquarius energy if that is of any relevance uh moving to the page of cups that's also another confirmation of like friendly and happiness and innocence like you know in the traditional tarot deck the page of cups is like this dude who's holding a cup and like there's this fish it's here it's the same thing but here it's a woman but like you will start to enjoy life and like you will stop caring what others think like now you no longer have to like do things in a traditional way or prove a point to society or do things like in a way that is accepted to society now you're doing it solely like for your own happiness you and him so it really feels like you know light and happy and you don't have to really give a shit and like this in this phase you know your relationship your bond grows stronger and you'll truly like become like best friends in this time you'll become extremely likable to each other you'll start to like rediscover things together you'll go out and have fun basically you know like it would be like a very exciting time now that all this is done you're just like out there having fun not giving a shit what you have to like prove to the world or say to the world so somebody very reliable sweet and you all can like count on each other so like expect him to pick up your favorite cake if he's passing by from a bakery or like maybe you will do the same or like you know he'll throw an impromptu surprise party for you for your birthday and you'll be like oh my god i did not expect it this is so nice thank you so much and you know do fun things or like you know you may plan a surprise trip for him like you know after like working really hard for like a really long time you and him need a break so you all can plan this trip together and because like i see a lot of affluency and all i don't think money would be like an issue in your relationship at all not that it came up in like any of the previous two but i'm just saying that here it's just more apparent because i see a lot of abundance and affluence and stuff and i think that's pretty cool so now moving to the queen of pentacles this is basically the jackpot card when it comes to like relationship readings the queen of pentacles is basically the domestic goddess like she has the nice house she has the ability to call people over she has the finances in order to make people feel comforted with like creature comforts so like there's always like that one family in like every big family where like people go to their houses always and they have like the ten pickles and like um all the lunches and like the desserts and like the five dishes and like it's like their house is the go to house for like everything and like they have everything proper and comfortable and happy but more than anything they have the resources and they have the ease and comfort in order to like provide those other comforts to other people so your domestic life basically will be really good it would be really abundant like you'll not have a want for anything you'll not fall short in any way and plus like the fun so i feel like this is like a very nice match like you know it would be a very happy life though traditionally done or like you know done in like a very specific way and done in a very systematic orderly way the end result is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment and happiness and like you will have a very nice happy home life and like with the dog and the domestic goddess and the curiosity of innocence i feel like this is where you know there'll be like a lot of kids in this in this in this connection like this would be like a one of those very happy type of families like you know you would have like the kids you will have the dog you will have like sending them to good schools taking all the good holidays having the nice house calling friends over you know so like i feel like it's like a very balanced and nice life you know um you won't be short of anything basically i think that's pretty cool uh the queen of pentacles also could be um you know same as empress taurus energy so 
that's like important to you but it could also be Virgo and Capricorn so but a lot of court cards so like if you are working or like you come from an affluent family this person also comes from a very affluent family and everything will be like very grand and proper and a lot of like king queen under each other then empress and emperor next to each other so you all would be like two proper partners in crime like equal at all levels there will be no inequality so i feel like there'll be a lot of like mutual respect and understanding and sharing of ideas and thoughts you know like they will consult you before doing things you will consult them before doing things you know there will never be like fights over money and stuff i feel like they will be extremely generous with the emperor especially somebody who like creates a foundation for like future growth and a future life but i also see like the fun so like i just i think this is very well balanced and i'm really happy for this pile in a way i'm jealous of every pile but like a little bit more of this pile anyway um moving to the oracle cards so let's just have a look this is the one you chose so we have trust transformation occurs through acceptance so once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so like i feel like this ties in with like the high priestess in figuring out like each other you're going to like start to figure out yourself and start to trust your partner and trust this method that even if like at some point you know you experience a little bit of resistance and like doing things the traditional way like no i always thought i would like find my own person instead of like consulting with a matchmaker if you trust that upon meeting this person if you trust that okay he's not so bad why does it matter how i found him as long as like you know we find our love and we find our balance and we are compatible and like we can make like this beautiful life together as long as you trust it's going to happen but definitely like this courtship though it may seem intense and like have a little pressure of like external forces it will reinforce your trust in like love and relationships once you like get to know each other and mostly get to know yourself because this is something that happens from within also this could indicate like your whole relationship will be built on a lot of mutual trust like i said respect and understanding so even trust and we have manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance i feel like this has to do with like once you're together so like if at first you felt like oh my god this guy is so traditional is he going to like be fun is he going to be like you know open to doing fun things with me or whatever if you start like i feel like once the pressure of this is off and you had like these dreams of like your person being in a certain way he will start to open up once it's just the two of you and like you don't have to pretend or like be this other person for like your families of a society and that is when like you know whatever you manifested in a person or in your partner that would like start to come true and i feel even like with them like towards you i feel like once you know the relationship is confirmed for the outside world and when it's just two of you that is when you know your relationship will truly bloom and like maybe at first you thought that i'm compromising or maybe like he's not exactly everything i ever manifested in a person but ultimately with time and with like understanding yourself and them and like truly getting to know them and like you know um hitting all the milestones and like moving forward all your manifestations will start to come true and that is why i see so much happiness we have success so i feel like this could mean like in terms of like career or like finances but i mostly i feel like this is just going to be a very successful marriage or a very successful like partnership and relationship like something people would take example from because we have both the rainbow and the sun so it's like you know it also ties in with this like you know you'll have your day in the sun 
if you thought that this guy is too traditional and he'll like never like do fun things with me or maybe like do kinky things with me or whatever it's not true you will have your moment in the sun and it would be a very successful match and now we have these last two uh, ask your angel cards so when i uh, pick them i didn't have any particular question in mind i usually just draw these for like any extra messages sometimes they tie in with the readings but sometimes they just have messages of their own and sometimes they turn out to be answers to questions you may have had so i'm just going to keep this open and just read it as it goes um we have listened to your intuition and we have abundance so i think this just abundance just confirms that you know um it also confirms with the success so like a lot of abundance in this relationship like maybe together you guys will build something really great or like money will just not be an issue maybe like two families coming together may actually like besides like being like a marriage like maybe like there may be like a business thing that you all merge together or also like maybe your family and his but it's going to create a lot of abundance and harmony and like happiness and it would entail you to have like that dream home you always wanted um and listen to your intuition this i think basically just means that in this stage or like in this stage like the empress is also an extremely intuitive person so i think your intuition will guide you a lot in this so like if at any time you felt like okay should i go on with this you will listen to your intuition and your intuition will say stick with this trust in this person trust in this relationship it's going to make you very happy so at all times if like you need guidance your intuition will like come into play your intuition will come alive and that would be like your guiding light if that makes sense I do have any extra messages? Nothing else so far. So um, that's it for pile number three. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed this reading. At the time of doing it, I was really tired, but I don't feel so much so anymore. Um, I'm really happy for this match, though. It feels like a very happy and successful one. And I know many families who have gone the traditional way are extremely successful right now. like my own uncle and aunt their two sons are like one is in san francisco one is in singapore both married both thriving both happy and like these two like my uncle and aunt they go for regular holidays every year they have like the beautiful house their house was the go to place so don't feel like just because it's an arranged thing or it's done in a traditional way it's not going to be great it doesn't matter like how you find your person the end result is you found your person and he became the one for you so like don't feel discouraged because of like the traditional part of things anyway um so i hope you enjoyed it i hope it gave you clarity and reassurance i hope it made you happy and if it did please do consider liking this video commenting with what resonated what didn't anything basically sharing it with those who you think it may help and finally subscribing to my channel because that would help me a lot and yes thank you so much for letting me read for you and i will see you in my next video bye hi so if you chose the fourth heart on this one then this is going to be your reading um as i did in the previous three readings i started out with um first talking about your first impressions of each other i usually started by taking like your impressions here and their impressions there but feel free to resonate with either of the two um followed by um what that incipient stage of your relationship would be like as in like who's chasing whom how you all like get to know each other and stuff like that and then once the relationship is properly underway like you all are properly together and dating what your relationship would be like then and then the last part of this a uh, segment would be any extra messages that you need to know from the spirit or from like the universe or your angels or anybody or just anything extra you need to know so let's just begin with first impressions so we have the three of pentacles and we have 
the fool okay so um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about this first the three of pentacles is basically a card about creativity and collaboration so um, the first impression they would have of you is that you're somebody who is extremely creative collaborative like maybe you have like a really good sense of aesthetics but I feel very strongly like they would look at you and think about creativity like oh my god this person is so creative her work is so nice her or his um, and that you're so collaborative that you have a specific skill set that you bring to the table that you're artistic that you have like an eye for beautiful things but basically you're very creative you know how to like build things make things create things you know um there's a possibility that maybe you know you're like a sculptor or an artist in ways and like you know you use your hands because whenever i think about three of pentacles somehow um the use of hands comes into play like you know you're actually building something and maybe it's like you know they see you or meet you at your place of work like maybe you know you're exhibiting somewhere and you're like making sculptures or something or like you know you're like in a fair and you're like collaborating with other people in order to create something this could also like this actually means like building something together in a sense but it doesn't necessarily mean like you know actually like putting things together but it requires like collaborative things and like a collaboration of skills to create something big so this could also mean like you know you're like an interior designer and you're working with an architect he's created the building now somebody else has decided like the lighting but they've called you in to like create the interiors of each of the houses within that building so stuff like that so they are going to like see you and think oh my god she's so creative she has an eye she's and she has such an amazing aesthetic like there's something about your skill set that's going to like stand out to them so like that is the first impression they're going to have of you and i feel like i just feel like they're going to meet you like at your place of work like or like somewhere where you're exhibiting your work this could also be like you know maybe you have traveled somewhere in order to like meet them or see them or anything so like maybe you have traveled somewhere and like attending a fair somewhere like how my mom sometimes used to go for like these art fairs across the country so you know maybe that could be something and you meet them there but yeah this is something to do with like collaboration and creation um collaboration this could also mean like you know maybe you exhibit your stuff on social media and like that's where like people see your things and like they they slide into your dms and they message you and like their first impression of you is like through your instagram aesthetic or something so yeah basically that's like they, they they think you're just very creative and you're very collaborative but um they also might get the idea that um like they message you for your work like oh hey i really liked this and not but not like at the start maybe not in a completely romantic way but like first like have it platonic or maybe like they get the impression that maybe you know you thought they messaged you for like some work or maybe you need they need your help in some kind of collaborative uh environment or something like i just feel like this first thing won't be like very romantic like their first move towards you but it may build like it will obviously build over time but i think the first one won't be like the most romantic of all impressions or meetings like they won't see you and be like oh my god she's the one but they will see you and they will notice your talent or your skill almost immediately now your impression of them so um we have the fool so the fool is basically someone who is carefree somebody who dives into something um without much baggage 
somebody who doesn't like think too much or like doesn't he's pretty he's a pretty easy going and happy soul you know that's why he has like the tiny bag which means like no baggage he is like on top of a cliff which means he can either fall or fly and he's willing to take that risk and the dog means companionship and there's always a very friendliness to the fool so that's why i feel like um when they text you or like you meet via social media or you meet like in this place or work it would be like to like say hi i really like this that you made or something but not like oh hi that's my soulmate or like that's my future partner or something but like i think they they just do it like in a very friendly way um anyway so your first impression of them is like this person is like somebody you can have fun with he could make a good friend or like you know somebody you can go on fun adventures like they have a very cre- carefree you know fun uh forgot that word but they have a very carefree fun attitude and quality about them which when you are around them it kind of becomes contagious in a way that you start to feel that way too so you would probably see this person and be like okay this is somebody i can just chill with or whatever i have a little feeling that because the fool is like carefree and doesn't have much baggage and stuff you may feel like this person may come across as somebody who's a little bit like immature or like um maybe you know like you will also not look at him as like a prospective romantic partner in your first impression of him or ho like like i said you could resonate with either of the two um but do note that the sun is shining on the fool and the fool marks the start of a new cycle so there is a possibility like this person could be on a brink of like a breakthrough or like something big or like a project so like maybe at the time of meeting you they are like on vacation or they are free spirited or they are just like you know lax at that point but don't mistake this person for the fact that maybe he is like actually quite serious in his work or his job or something so like that's what i feel like at the time of your meeting it will be like in a very relaxed environment like maybe it may be like in a workplace for you or like through your instagram or whatever but like for this person that is like taking a break so they will notice you at your place of work and your skill but you will just see them for like the fun person they are not for like the work they do or like their skill sets um also the fool has like this rose which always makes me feel like he's hopeful for love so maybe like you will not think that this person is like being romantic and maybe even they their first impression of you or their first message to you or their first conversation with you will be pretty platonic but this guy is pretty hopeful so i feel like there's a part of him that may be like okay she is cool i really love her skill set and probably like somewhere at the back of their mind maybe they have that romantic notion towards you but it's like just not surfaced just yet anyway um also um the fool is aquarius energy if that is of any relevance the three of pentacles are earth energy so that is capricorn taurus and virgo if that resonates with you or them but now moving on let's just talk about like what your um a uh, incipient stage of your relationship would be like like basically the rosy phase like you know when you all first like start meeting and chatting and talking and who chases who like you know just that buffer before you all become a proper couple so we have the five of swords we have oh wow the wheel of fortune and we have the king of swords just going to arrange these nicely so um okay so i feel like this could be one of those you know uh long distance situations like maybe this person is like from another country or maybe he's working in another country and you happen to meet him when you were on vacation or like you were like 
visiting a fair or an art gallery or like you were exhibiting your work and they happen to see you because this is basically like the card of like miscommunication in a way that leads to conflict but I don't want to scare anybody it just makes me feel like there's a possibility that um y'all could be like in different time zones or like different places like not just in life but also like geographically like in different situations so I feel like this could be one of those long distance scenarios where you're like somewhere else and he's somewhere else and I feel like there could be a time difference and because of that the in the initial part of your initial stage sorry <laughs> um there is a possibility that there could be a little bit of miscommunication or maybe like when you'll chat it's not like as fun or as nice as you think it is or like you know it's just um it's just not as fun or like full of enthusiasm like how when people know and they just start chatting and like they can go on for hours and hours like that will not happen with you initially like but that also came through with the fact that you know y'all don't look at each other as potential romantic partners to start with but just as friends so you know it's like neither you nor him like prioritize texting or calling or facetiming each other so much because like up until now it's like okay i don't know if she's like the one or not maybe this person little bit does know but like i said you know he's on the brink of something big so there's a possibility that this person could also be extremely busy you know when they go back to their workplace because at the time of meeting you they are like on a break but they are otherwise life is like okay i'm a pretty busy person and that i feel like through the king of swords so maybe like there's a little bit of miscommunication like i think there's also a possibility for some of you um y'all may not text or call for like a really long time like after meeting and exchanging numbers and all maybe it'll be like okay send each other a couple of texts and then there would be like a lag for like few months maybe possibility but then i think that all changes with the wheel of fortune because the wheel of fortune basically talks about a sudden change like in your life for the better and the wheel of fortune is very much dependent on faith and destiny so this could also mean like maybe you'll end up again meeting and bumping during a travel or like through work if this person happens to have texted you via social media which i feel is like this um there's a possibility that you know after not chatting for a really long time you'll just happen to suddenly bump into each other and also um i feel social media strongly because like this is like the card of like miscommunication and like assuming things and that creates conflicts and like saying things that you don't mean because like you don't have this person face to face with you so you don't know what they are really doing and like they don't know what you are doing and like you like for example even though i don't have like thousands of subscribers on my instagram i'm pretty bad at checking dms so like maybe they text you via instagram and like you don't check your dms that often so like they think like oh my god who does she think she is like she's posting every second day but she doesn't have two seconds to reply to my dms you know so that's just that's what i feel would happen here so it would just be like miscommunication and that is because you all are not like face to face like there's a lot of factors that lead to this which is like your time difference the fact that maybe you all are in different like places uh the time change or oh, did i say that already i think i did but like basically just that but that's all going to change with the wheel of fortune because by destiny or by fate or something um somehow you're going to end up like in the same place um uh, if that doesn't resonate with you then out of the blue like one of you is going to text each other and from then it's like going to all change like after that i feel like it's going to become extremely like you're like going to become like irreparable 
like you will text 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 whole day like start on like a friday and end like on the following week saturday or something so like that's how it's going to be and this is always for the better also i see lot of air energy so like gemini libra aquarius if that resonates the wheel of fortune though um consists of four different zodiac signs the first being aquarius the second being taurus the third being leo and the fourth being scorpio so either those signs could be of relevance to you or the months the corresponding months of those signs like those could be like important months when you know y'all y'all are fated to like intersect each other's lives again and from then on it's going to be like continuous and after that you know after this understanding and meeting and started starting to chat again and like you know resurrect your relationship that was like dying because of this miscommunication then when you get to know each other it will be like on a much deeper intense level and that's when you'll see like the fool is actually a king you know so like once you'll get to like the better stage and you'll have time to like chat and get to know each other better that is when like you know you all will start to like understand each other because the king basically means like somebody who's very smart insightful somebody who's very reliable somebody who takes tremendous responsibility for his thoughts and the way he communicates and also after that your communication is going to be exceedingly strong and good and that's when your your relationship will take a turn for the better and like that's when you'll become inseparable so yeah this is what i see in like your buffer phase your incipient stage of your relationship is there anything else i want to add yeah i just that you all will you will see him for like not being the fool anymore like from the fool you fool you see like this dude has transformed into like some kind of king and i never ever assumed that or like thought that would happen or expected that and they would see you for like the responsible down to earth creative person that you are and you all will get to know each other on a much better level and that will like create a foundation for like your future relationships your future relationship sorry so yes this is what i see um now we'll just move on to like your um what your relationship will be like once you all are properly like together and dating together so we have three of swords we have two of wands and we have king of pentacles okay i like how this ends um okay so I'm just going to arrange these again just to make it fit in the screen. Okay, so the 3 of swords basically gives me the idea that I feel like Sorry. I just feel like the 3 of swords is like indicative of like your distance or like the fact that you all are not in the same space. place you know like dissatisfaction with like your living arrangements in a way like you know he's still there you're still here but you all have committed to be together so it may be a bit of a struggle like maybe you have to travel too much to see him and he has to travel too much to see you and then every time like you know you'll have to like cry goodbyes at the airport and stuff so like that's where i feel like there's a little bit of heartbreak um this could also be a little bit of like the miscommunication continued because it came like under this so um i just feel like it's it's nothing to worry it basically means like growth but it's like the storm before the calm like you have to like go through the pain in order to go through to grow from it so um and unless you go through this you don't have reason to grow so like this is something that both of you all will feel not just like one of you you know the separation that you all are in like by distance 
or like by time difference and stuff and like sometimes that could be like leading to a little bit of conflict and miscommunication like maybe when he's free to talk you are cranky maybe when you call him he's like in a meeting and he's like i can't talk now goodbye and you're like how rude was that so it just could be that but uh it progresses because the two of wands basically means like deciding to like be proper partners and like planning something together because the two of wands basically means like partnerships and planning things like in the distance and look at how this guy is like right on top of this thing and he's looking ahead and he's planning like he's looking ahead in life and planning for the future with like his partner so this is like partnerships and planning things together so you know like i said like maybe fate will bring you all together and like from there your relationship will be like solid from there like you all will like start to see each other for your true selves so since this has come under the wheel of fortune i feel like what this indicates is that once you know you all decide that hook or crook i want to make this relationship work and i don't want to like cry anymore at the airport or like be in separation from my partners you all will like find a midpoint that both of you all can like stay in together or like in some situations it could be like he moves to where you are and you move to where he is but because this came under the wheel of fortune which is like some place where you all end up like coming together by fate and this has come right under that i feel like you all will find a midpoint which is like works for both of you and that is where you all will decide to like settle and be together and plan a future from there and trust me it is a good future and it's a good plan because you got the king of pentacles next so i just feel like once you overcome this you will like find a midpoint or a place that is convenient for both of you where you all can like live together and plan also because i see like this mountains and this water this is giving me a little bit of like you know um something by a sea or something you know like maybe a beach of sorts but uh, otherwise like somewhere by the sea you know like a cheerful place i also see a lot of um tropical plants so if that is of any indication then but basically this means partnerships and like planning things together and this will like once you all are together it will be extremely passionate you know because the wands is like very passionate energy so like for all uh, the time you've lost by not being together you will make it up in passion and like fun for some of you this could mean also like you know um being extremely like sexual with your partner and stuff like doing all like like doing things that play out in your fantasies basically so it would be like really fiery and fun together and like planning a whole life together in that sense like for every like for all the miscommunication and all the time you lost the fact that you know fate brought you all together and like confirmed that you guys are meant to be it would be like extremely passionate fun like you all will do fun things together and you all will like plan things together you know you all will like plan a happy future together and this also indicates that he will be extremely supportive for like your creative endeavors and you will like be extremely understanding and supportive of like his whatever he does um i think like this person may be like extremely smart like like in business or technology or something because like the king of swords is lot of like using of mind and like impacting the world with it the something this person does that is like something unique but something that requires a very high level of intelligence so this person may be like somebody who graduated from like an ivy league worked in a big company then decided to like do his own thing and like is focusing on his own startup or company and like but whatever he's very brilliant and i feel like whatever it is he can do it like in a way remotely or like from a different place 
um this also reminds me of like california because california has a sea so and california is also the hub for like startups like silicon valley i don't know why but just it mentioned it i just like thought of it and so i thought i would mention it um but whatever it is like this person has a very high high level of intelligence and since we've got like the king we've got two kings and like one fool i feel like um he will obviously have his fun side to him and so you all will like bring that in your relationship and have fun like go for dives and like go snorkeling and like go walks go for walks on the beach and stuff together but this person is like very intelligent and i also feel like um because like he's so intelligent it's not like he can like chill or hang out with almost everyone like he's very selective of like the people he hangs out with so if you are supportive of him that means the world to him you know if like even if you don't understand what he does or like you know you're since you're creative or you're artistic um if you're just supportive towards him that is still more than enough for him you know because like you don't question what he does like other people and he doesn't have to explain every little thing to you if you know what i mean so it would i feel like once this is done because you all are like face to face to face to face together or like staying together planning this life together your communication will ease out and it will become so good and so smooth that like it will be like oh my god all those fights we had in the past were like for nothing they were so silly and useless and in retrospect i feel like we were just being dumb but whatever this is that he's doing he can do it like from a different place because like he has the brilliance in order to like do it that way and if he's working in a company he's at a pretty high post and his high post would like allow him to like switch offices and go to like a different place or a country and stuff but if it's like his own thing then he's sorted for life and um with the king of pentacles that's basically the jackpot card um when it comes to like career and success but since this is a love reading the way i'm going to interpret it is that you all will live a very happy and complete and abundant life like you know um like you all will have fun like you all will do like if you have like a list of things you want to do with a partner you know you can rest assured each and every one of those things in your list will be ticked off and i think since like you are this creative person and like he is this person there is a possibility that you know you all may collaborate together on like a work level and that will create a lot of wealth and abundance for you so that is one interpretation so like you all will together amass a lot of affluence and money and abundance that is for sure but it will also like be setting a good foundation for like future so the way i see that is that there is a very high possibility that this is once you know you all move in together and stuff there's a very high possibility that this is somebody with who you decide to have a family and you have that family and like you have that nice house and you have like the dog and you have like the vacations like basically everything that is like proper but yeah your root to this person may be a little bit like freckled with fangs and like have factors like distance and all come in the way but besides that once you know you all are together suddenly all that will just recede and ease away and it will all just feel very unnecessary and the foundation of your relationship will be very very strong the king of pentacles is also a pretty straightforward person so your communication will be very good you all will have like the fire and the passion and when this person completely opens up to you which i think will happen like in this time itself you will even see his fun side because that is what you notice like the first time round you know like maybe you know his little silliness and stuff and although it's kinking it may seem very serious this person is still has got a really fun side to them 
Yep, so a lot of abundance and happiness. Also, um, I forgot to mention this person may be a really good provider. You know, when it comes to like family and you and kids and stuff, like very generous. And he'll have the resources and money to be able to like give you guys a good life. But since, you know, um, this is there, I feel very strongly that you all will together amass uh, big quantities of wealth together. So like you will be like at the top of your field and he will be at the top of his field. And like together you all will like have a very affluent or like good lucrative careers and like be together. So like some kind of a power couple in a way. But like, yes, I see a lot of success, abundance and like together you all will build a foundation for a really good life together. You know, maybe it was a struggle getting together, but once you'll do, it's like a solid game for you guys in the long run. Anyway, moving on to um, your tarot cards. This is the one you chose. So the message is wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. So I feel like this plays in with the wheel of fortune, like maybe, you know, at the start, you feel like, okay, I don't know if this is like a thing or like y'all don't communicate so well or something. And like there are periods where um, you feel like your communication is completely off, but be patient and let nature take its course. I feel this is a way of saying like destiny will take over and I think destiny and fate comes into play with the wheel of fortune. So like I feel like this is a very divine timing kind of connection. So it will just happen at its own time. I feel like for many of you guys, maybe you're already in communication with this person or like, you know, in like this phase where you're not communicating so well. For some of you, I feel like maybe you've not yet met this person, but like have patience, you will. So like whatever it is, I think with this relationship, patience is going to be a, is going to play a key role. So don't grow impatient and don't grow worried because eventually fate and destiny are going to like take over and that's when you know your paths will intersect and that's when your relationship will truly come alive. And we have this. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So I feel like this plays in with this or this so like in case you know you've already met this person and you're not like in very good communication with them maybe because of like um the time distance the time difference the actual distance the fact that maybe this person is not extremely responsive at this point because they are busy but like don't feel upset i would suggest like you know put your mind to your work and continue progressing because they found you or like you for your work to begin with so like that's what you should put your focus on because like when you build that up that is going to lead you to like ultimately living this so um be joyful don't dwell on like what is not happening um and don't worry Destiny will take over and destiny will come into play and that's when things will start to ease out until then if you can't do anything Don't be upset about it. So Just like don't worry Take your time be happy And don't like sit and worry about your circumstances or anything Because once you get through this whole thing Once you get through this whole thing, the reward is so amazing. Like, such a beautiful, solid relationship. So, I know it must be hard at this point when you're low, but don't worry. Um, the next one is cleanse. So, um, I have two interpretations for this. One is to, like, cleanse out all your preconceived notions about, like, this person or this relationship um the second thing is once you know um once you're like decide to commit together and like this is like done for it will be like a cleansing effect you know like 
you will be like all that stuff i had kept in that this person is not responsive that this person is not texting me back maybe his communication is so bad it's all going to like get cleansed away it's going to get washed away because like when you all are like together and like you all start to communicate and like you know start to get to know each other better on a deeper level that's when you know you will fill yourself up with how wonderful this person truly is and how amazing your relationship can be so i feel that i also feel like for some of you guys if you've been disappointed in the past in relationships when you become like one with this person it's going to cleanse away all the old wounds of your old relationships also um because like this is water and like i mentioned like you know a tropical place this could mean like you know um at your place like you know when uh divine timing comes into play like the wheel of fortune comes into play and you're like meet again that could be also like a place where like there's water and there's a sea and a beach and stuff you know um so that is another thing that just came to my mind and i thought i should mention it anyway the last two cards are these angel oracle cards and um i didn't keep any specific question in mind at the time of picking them so um i'm just going to keep it open it could be a message in tune with your situation it could be a message unto itself and in some cases it could just also be an answer to a question you may have had in your mind after listening to this reading so far so let's just see what it has we have perfect timing and we have yes so if like i feel this is an answer to your question so whatever it is the answer is yes and a perfect timing um this basically i think tunes in with the wheel of fortune and like the fact that destiny will eventually come into play so like when destiny feels like you all are ready for each other that's when you know destiny will bring you all together so like whatever happens it will happen in perfect timing so it may be you know right now you are still struggling with like whatever this creative thing is your art or whatever maybe you know you're still trying to grow your instagram or grow your social media audience and you just don't have like the time or the bandwidth to deal with a relationship and that's why destiny is not bringing this person in just yet but like when the timing is right that's when this is going to happen so you have to like at some point to a certain extent just you know rely on faith and destiny and know that things are going to play out when it's meant to happen um in one of the readings i did for like how and when you will meet um uh there was this one reading i think it was the last one on that the fourth stone or something where um i couldn't get a specific time frame because i got a lot of aces and like the start of something so that indicated that you know when you start a new chapter in your life only then this person would come in so this kind of plays in tune with that so like when you are ready that is when this will happen so i think maybe this is a continuation of that reading of sorts i don't know but um it just means that when destiny and the universe feels like you're ready that's when they'll just bring this person in and it will be the start of this beautiful new relationship do i have any extra messages to you have listed i've said all the zodiac signs so yeah i guess that is it um with the two of this and the wheel of fortune um this could be august could be an important month i'm just saying i don't know why but it just it could be an important month so yeah anyway um i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it gave you a sense of reassurance or clarity of sorts i hope it just made you happy and if it did then please do consider liking this video commenting with what resonated um sharing it with those who you feel it may help and finally subscribing to my channel because that would help me grow and that would be so cool anyway um thank you so much for letting me read for you and i will see you in my next video bye